I want to come back to the question of how we will win this war uh, sh short of a direct to military conflict with Russia, which surely nobody wants. Uh, the strategy that the, the Biden administration uh, with its NATO allies has is to impose sanctions that are so devastating that they effectively shut down Russia's ability to make war and really uh, cripple uh, its, its economy, so its econ economy back decades. You know a lot about the Russian economy, uh, having invested there successfully. I want to just ask you whether that uh, basic strategy is viable. And you, you talked about ways to, to, to make it bite more, extending uh, various aspects of these sanctions. How soon, if, if that was done, do you think Russia would really be at its knees and, and forced to, to pull back? Well, there, there, there's, we're not, we're nowhere near there yet. There, there's a couple of things I didn't have time to mention, which are the elephants in the room. Um, the first one is that, um, yes, it's great that we've, we've done the central bank sanctions. Yes, it's great that we've done the oligarchs. But every day, um, without fail, uh, the West, and I particularly mean uh, uh, Germany and Italy and so on, are sending a billion dollars um, to Putin by buying Russian oil and gas. And um, that's a lot of money, a billion dollars a day. And so, by some estimates, that's what Russia is spending on their war effort. And so, and then that's what Europeans, European countries are paying them. And so it's kind of a wash, you know, money in, money out. <clears throat> and so if you look at it that way, um, we're not degrading their ability at all. We're, we're it, you know, from a business standpoint, there's, there's, you know, uh, if you if you were to say Russia is a company, they have a, a bunch of assets on their balance sheet, which we've frozen, but they have a bunch of income coming in on their income statement. You have a bunch of um, revenue coming in, all of this uh, oil, oil sales. And that we're not, we haven't really messed with yet. And um, that's a harder nut to crack. Uh, one, because Germany and Italy and all these countries are so dependent on Russian gas. And two, because the gas and oil prices are so high. And there's, there's two ways to deal with this. And one, one thing which, which would, have, which would be, have an outsized effect and be really crucial in this whole thing is if we could get the oil price down. And that is something that we could do because Saudi Arabia is the largest oil producer in the world. In theory, they're still an ally of the United States. We provide all sorts of military protection for Saudi Arabia. And if, if um, they were to cooperate and turn on their taps, they could pump out an additional one or two million barrels of oil a day. And if they were to do that, that would push the oil price down by 30%. And if the oil price went down by 30%, then Russian revenues would go down by 30%, whether the Germans cut off any gas or not. And if that were to happen, then we would be putting a serious dent into Russia's financial ability to wage this war.